take a look at another application. I've closed my solution, and uh, when you finish, you can just do a file close solution. I wouldn't do a save as, so we're just going to do a new project, and I'll call this uh, the GUI example tree, and I'll click OK on that. Now um, we're going to drop some images on there, some pictures. So I'll um, drop my picture box on there. I'm also going to drop on a couple of buttons. And we'll talk more about those here in a minute. And I'll drop on a label. There we go. Okay, for the for the picture, I'm going to come down here. And I'll um, go to the image, and I'll choose local resource, and choose import, and then I'm going to go to where I have my my pictures at. Um, I think I'm going to put them in the temp folder. Just flag, and click OK. And um, remember, size mode is normal, but I can change that to um, auto size or stretch image. I'll choose stretch image and I'm going to change the size. So I'll expand that. And I'll change the width to 200. And I'll change the height to 200. Okay. Now, when I click on that, the image, this time I want to change what the label says. So let me come down to the label. I clicked it one time. And I'm going to change its font size. And I'll change it so it's a um, uh, 20. There we go. Now to program that, I'm going to double click the flag. And it's a uh, picture box click. And then the label, I could type in, start typing the label. And it's label one dot text equals flag. American flag. And semicolon. Okay, and if we run that, and then we click the flag, you see it now changes the, the, the text down here. So you can program more than just like a button to be clicked. Now these buttons, I'm going to program them to do different things. For the button 1, I want it to say exit. So I'm just going to simply start typing exit. Now sometimes when you do that, it will uh, have the appropriate item shows over here, but this doesn't. This says image. What we want is text. So that'll be kind of based upon what you have, what did you choose the previous time. Now at this one, if I click button two and I just start typing, this one will be to display message. Now notice how this time it actually has the text shows. Now I'm gonna choose auto size on that. I think there's an auto size feature. Yeah, so I'll choose that as true. Okay, so let's program the exit now. This is going to exit our application. So I'm going to double click it. And then I'm going to do uh, this dot close. And then semicolon. This refers to the application. And dot close means it'll close it. So it exits out. I'm going to click the form tab here. And I'm going to double click display message. And I'm going to say message box dot show. And I'll say, um, this is my flag application. Semicolon. Okay, so let's run this now and see what, see what it looks like. Of course, click the American flag. It displays that. X would X out, but let's display message first. And it says, this is my flag application. Okay, then I'll click exit. And then it exits out. Now that showed a little bit more of uh, what we can do with programming. And um, I didn't rename a label. I just typed label one, but wasn't very uh, intuitive in the programming, was it? If you come here, it's like, well, what, what, what's that referring to exactly? You know, it's a label. That's about the extent of what you know. So sometimes, uh, given the meaningful name, is invaluable. We'll see that in future applications.